They share the same title, but centuries apart. President Donald Trump and President George Washington both got rich through real estate. And now we're learning just what 45 thought of the first commander in chief from this report in Politico out today with the intriguing title, Trump's truly bizarre visit to Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon is Washington's uh, Virginia plantation where he lived for 40 years. And Politico's Daniel Lipman got the scoop of what happened when President Trump visited there last year with French uh, President Emmanuel Macron. So, Daniel, um, thank you for being here. I, I love Mount Vernon and that back, <laughs> you know, back area along the Potomac is just stunning. But, you know, you write that President Trump had, uh, how, how did you phrase it, had some great advice for George Washington. Tell me what that was. Yeah, so he said if uh, George Washington was smart, he would have named it after himself. Uh, and that uh, people uh, have to put their name on stuff uh, or no one will remember them. And then the tour guide uh, told the president and the Macrons, well, uh, actually, he named the uh, or Washington, D.C. is, you know, Washington for a reason. And Trump said, well, that's a good point. And he kind of laughed. On the screen, you see all the examples of all of the things and places and universities in 94 U.S. locations, all named after President George Washington, just FYI. And then yeah. so this tour guide was the Mount Vernon president and CEO, and you report that, that it was, uh, he said it, it was tough for him to keep the president's interest during this VIP 45-minute tour, which he described as truly bizarre. Why? Uh, so he, he really could not get President Trump interested in the details and the intricacies of the history involved in this house uh, because, you know, Trump uh, found the house actually a lot to criticize about it. He found the rooms too small, the staircases uh, too narrow, the floorboards uh, creaky and uneven. He was testing out them, uh, which kind of raised eyebrows because you really don't want to jump up and down there. Uh, and, you know, Doug Bradburn, the CEO, he came upon well, how, how do I get President Trump interested in it? And uh, he, then he turned to Trump, uh, then he turned to George Washington's real estate speculation and how he was a very wealthy uh, early American. And so that, that landed with, with the current president. Just lastly, what, was there any one stop on the tour where, where President Trump was truly fascinated? So uh, he, they got to the end of the tour uh, where uh, George Washington died in uh, his bedroom. Uh, of a throat infection, and Trump grabbed the bedpost uh, and said, well, this is a good bed to die in, uh, and, uh, which was kind of a, a cap to our article. Uh, yeah. And one, one other interesting thing is that, of course, uh, the Macrons knew more about the history than the Trumps did, uh, which is not a shocker, but you know, he is, after all, the French president, so you would think, well, that would kind of be a little odd. Daniel Lippmann with all the details of this VIP tour with uh, Macron and our own president. Daniel, thank you for sharing that.